We are here in the ceremonial office of the Vice President of the United States. Uh, Mr. Vice President, thank you so much for having us. Good morning, Nora. We just showed that incredibly moving moment last night when the President honored um, Navy SEAL William Ryan Owens and his widow, Karen Owens. How did that tribute come about? Well, the President um, reached out to the family uh, after Ryan Owens fell in what was, as the President said again last night, a highly successful operation uh, that obtained significant intelligence information. But, um, but I was there in the Oval Office when the President spoke to her at length. The President traveled to Dover Air Force Base to be with the family. I just think he felt very strongly. Uh, about uh, about acknowledging her courageous husband, but just as much acknowledging a family, because uh, uh, as you know, Nora, uh, uh, those who serve in the military uh, serve as families, are supported by families, and the tribute last night uh, was the likes of which I, I've never seen. I, I was in the Congress for 12 years. I really don't remember as sustained and 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 proper. Tribute and applause. We're as both Mrs. Republicans and Democrats for, for more than two minutes. She kept looking up almost to heaven. Uh, I know she, your wife was sitting right next to her. She, she did, and I have to, I have to tell you, I, I don't think there was a dry eye in the house uh, to see her looking up, um, expressing words of love mm -hmm. for her husband. And, um, and afterwards, the president and I spent a little bit more time. Uh, with her and and reminded her that the Congress represents the entire country and that uh, the tribute that, that her husband and her family received was really how all the American people feel about him and feel about all those who serve. I know the president made a point last night of pointing out he said that that raid had gathered quote large amounts of vital intelligence. Have you seen some of that intelligence? What, what does that help us with? Uh, we were briefed again yesterday by Secretary Mattis giving us a summary of, of the intelligence that was gathered. This was, a, this was a, a strike that was directed at obtaining information about Al-Qaeda operating uh, out of Yemen. And uh, we, we do believe, uh, we do believe it will lay a foundation for victories in the future. But it was, I think it was altogether fitting that, that uh, the president paid tribute uh, to that courageous Navy SEAL, to his wonderful family, in the context of a speech where he put the security of the American people first. He made a commitment to rebuilding the military after years of cutbacks, uh, and the support for that, I, I truly believe, will be part of, of, of the bipartisan accomplishments that this Congress can achieve. NBC has reported that there was no significant intelligence gathered from that raid. Is that wrong? Uh, that is wrong. Uh, I can tell you that uh, Secretary Mattis, uh, as recently as yesterday, confirmed again okay. uh, to the administration that there was significant intelligence that was gathered that that will will lead to American success uh, and to the safety and security of the American people. Let me ask you about immigration. Uh, you guys have taken a hard line on immigration. Build the wall, right. tougher enforcement. The president signaled yesterday in a meeting that he was open to a legal pathway for undocumented immigrants. Are you on board with that as well? Are you open to such a pathway? Well, let me say that last night I thought was not only a great speech, but it was a great night for America because what the American people saw uh, was a, a president laying out the specifics of an agenda that he ran on and communicating both his strength and his heart in expressing that. And, and whether it be with repealing or replacing Obamacare, whether it be with tax relief in the economy, or whether it be with immigration, I think the American people heard the, they, they really heard the president in full. And, and, and last night specific. he made it very clear that he intends to build a wall, uh, to, to uh, have the kind of internal enforcement that puts the safety of the American people first, that identifies the criminal element that is a oh, part we of the, believe me, we have heard uh, that, the crisis we is, face. We've heard that. The question, though, was whether he is right. open to a pathway for the undocumented immigrants here, or are you just not there yet? Well, I think, you know, I think as the president said in the campaign, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. That he gave that famous speech in Arizona where he literally said, look, we've got to do first things first. We've got to secure our border. The president has said many times a nation without borders is not a nation and it's not secure. So we'll, we'll secure our border with that, that border wall. We'll have internal enforcement that's already underway. Uh, we'll, we'll strengthen our laws 
provide more, not only more border agents, more immigrations and customs. These are all things the president's already put into motion. And that once we do that, just like he said in Arizona, that with regard to those uh, remaining in this country, that, that, uh, that we'll look at options, we'll engage the Congress. But I think the overall tone of the president's speech last night is, frankly, it's just the same as I see every day. Uh, yeah. President Trump is someone who, who, who leads by collaboration. He brings people together. And last night, he really challenged the Congress to come together on behalf of the country and solve these intractable problems that we, frankly, have ignored for decades. I know you said that this seemed like more Trump, the Trump you see every day was what the American people saw last night. Let me ask you about some additional policies because I know the new executive order on the travel ban is coming out and CBS News has learned that Iraqi citizens may not be included in the president's revised ban. Is that the case and why so? I think we're evaluating both the Ninth Circuit's decision and other considerations and in the days ahead. Uh, we'll have a revised executive order that that will come out. The president is just determined uh, to, to not only defend the first executive order in the courts, which we continue to believe is fully within his purview and his presidential authority, but also to, to take that authority that is undisputed in the law with a new executive order. We live in a very dangerous world. I was, uh, I was just in Europe uh, meeting with leaders of, of uh, many of our allies. We all recognize the the threat of terrorism in the world, and President Trump is absolutely determined to do what we can in this moment to ensure the safety and security of the American people, put into place new vetting procedures, and and the revised executive order will, will be reflective of that and will the president's best judgment. And will more countries be added to that? Well, I, I don't want to... I don't want to get ahead of the deliberation. I know that, that through a variety of agencies, they're putting the finishing touches on that executive order. It should be out in the next few days. And last night's speech, uh, did that signal a change? It was different in tone from the inaugural ad address. Did it signal a change? Well, I just think that there's something very special about a joint session of Congress. There's a moment where the president has the opportunity to speak in a completely unfiltered way to people all across the country. And what I can tell people as someone who's, who's worked with the president every day since the election and gotten to know him very well over the course of the campaign, is that was all him. I mean, what, what we have in President Trump is someone who has broad shoulders, who's a fighter, who's willing to fight for what he believes in, but he's got a big heart. I think the American people saw that last night. And, and my hope is that members of Congress in both parties will look at the agenda that the president laid out work with this administration to, to ensure the security and the prosperity of the American people. Let the legislating begin. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, Mr. Vice President, thank you so much. Thank you, Norm. Gail, there you heard uh, the Vice President uh, who welcomed us here into the ceremonial office about last night's speech. All right, Norm, you hit all the notes we were wondering here in the studio. Thank you so much. Nice job.